Stick around, and we'll get right to it. All right, I've got a quick one for you guys today. There seems to be some recent confusion concerning Pat Menu and Pat Winlink when it comes to the Pat port. And what I'm seeing a lot of uh, recently, it seems like, is guys are running into a problem when they try to start one of the modems in Pat Menu, and they're getting a screen that looks like this telling them that they're unable to connect. Let's see if we can solve this issue really quick. Let me close that window and minimize that browser. Back in Pat Menu, the first thing you want to take a look at is the Quick Stats button right down here at the bottom. If we open that up, this file simply pulls some data from the config file and lets us know what's currently set inside the Pat Winlink config file. If you'll notice right here, my PAT port is set at 5000 in the config file. Now, honestly, you shouldn't ever have to change the PAT port number in the config file unless it's for a very, very specific reason. Most of the time, the defaults will work right out of the gate for you. But you can see that I have indeed changed mine in the config file to be 5000. Now, let's go take a look. We're going to go back to the main menu. I'm going to come down to settings and config, and we're going to go over to the current config file settings. And if we look right down here, you'll see that the PAT port here is set to 8080. If the two of these don't match, then you're going to run into that unable to connect screen. So in this particular case, I'm going to set this one here to match what's in my quick stats page. I'm going to click the update button and then let's go ahead and go back out to the main menu. I'm going to go ahead and start one of those modems. We'll just use the packet modem for this demo here. We'll give that just a couple of seconds to start and that will also uh, open that window in our browser. And as you can see, now I'm loaded right into the PAT mailbox like you would expect to be. So guys, make sure those two port numbers are matching up and you should have success getting into the PAT WinLink mailbox. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.